that women's equality was still very much in the hands of male-dominated legislators. What's the answer? Well, it's, it's somewhat discouraging, but uh, we're certainly not defeated. We're, we only have eight states to go. Women's equality will come. It's sure to come. We've got all the cooperating groups and organizations that are in the coalition here in Dade County and throughout the state writing letters like mad. They're talking to their legislators at home. They're going to be going up to Tallahassee and speaking to their legislators there. And we've just made a great concerted effort. We feel Florida has got to pass the ERA this year. Florida is a pivotal state. And really, the other few states, if they see that Florida passes it, will go along with it. And we're really dedicated also to the idea that human rights are equal rights for all. Well, I believe under the Constitution, as it's presently constructed, there are enough uh, provisions and protections and avenues for anybody that feels they're being discriminated against that they can use in that regard. They can go through all types of court procedures now. It doesn't take a drastic change in the Constitution of the United States to do this. How would it have affected your career? It wouldn't have affected it one way or the other. I, have, I consider myself a very liberated female. I have had the jobs I've wanted because or in spite of the fact that I'm a woman. Anything I've wanted that I've been knowledgeable enough to go about to get, I have gotten.